thought I was done for. And you were, till I pulled the Dybbuk out of you, which left you so poor as we had to give you vampire blood. <sighs> Caleb's, not mine. Aren't you worried I'll jump in front of a bus and become an immortal badass? I figured you'd already been down that road before. Well, that was before. I knew how much being human sucks. <laughs> but still, gotta say, uh, beats being a monster. Thank you for keeping your promise. Well, I'd be a hypocrite if I expected you to make a sacrifice that I wasn't willing to make. Oh, not another bill. The opposite. It's the money we owe you. And a, a ticket out of town. Oh, seriously? You're letting me go? Well, sure as hell not gonna do that transfusion spell again. My friends and I will figure something out. Are we friends? I think close enough. So here's my friendly advice. Kill my father while you can. I know he's in the body of someone you love, but the longer you leave him in there, the more of a chance Malivor has to win. I've been thinking about that a lot recently. I've been wondering, what do you think it looks like if Malivor wins? I think uh, it'll start with revenge against anyone who's ever wronged him. It's a long list recently made longer by you and everyone at your school. And then the hunger will lead the way. An eternal, bottomless well that can never be filled but must be fed. And not just on monsters. He has a taste for humans now. And those he devours will be lost from memory forever. Legions of lives consumed into the blackness, erased from existence in an instant. Yeah, pretty much what I thought too. But at least it's not your problem anymore. I can take it from here. You've earned the right to be your new human self in peace. Have a nice life, Clark. Uh, actually, uh, my name is Ryan. Then have a nice life, Ryan. Oh. And I don't know if I should tell you this, but when I was under that spell, there was a moment where I had a window into Malivore's mind. You should talk to Dr. Salzman about Landon. <laughs>